There was this man that wanted to improve his prayer life, you know, to, to grow closer to God. So he decided to visit this monk, a famous spiritual guru. And he goes to the monk and he explains his situation. And the monk stands up without saying a thing and walks off, indicating for the man to follow him. So they start out walking and they get to a beach and they're walking along it. And the man thinks, oh yes, yeah, the beauty of nature, the beauty of creation. Maybe I'm called to praise God as creator. But they continue to walk and they start to walk into the water. And the man thinks, oh yes, of course, I have to enter in to really feel God's grace. But they keep going deeper and deeper and they arrive up to their waist, up to their chest. And the man thinks, uh, perhaps I have to immerse myself completely in God's love. They go deeper up to their necks and the monk takes the man's head and dunks him under the water and holds him there. And the man's fighting for breath to come up for air. And so eventually the monk lets the man go. He comes up, takes in a deep breath and starts to say to the monk, what, what the heck was that for? And the monk looks at the man and says, until you desire God as much as you desire that breath of air, you will not know how to pray. A vocation begins with a desire to know God and do His will. That desire moves us to pray. Discerning one's vocation is an amazing time for growth and holiness because it forces us to pray. We have a deep question in our souls and only God knows the answer. We're forced to beg Him in prayer to reveal something of His plan. The begging God forces us to talk to Him and to listen to Him and teaches us to know and love Him all the more. If you don't really care about what your vocation is, about doing God's will, or about the thought, maybe I'm called to be a priest, if that question doesn't scare you a little bit, keep you up at night, or haunt you during the day in your prayer, then maybe these videos might not be for you. But if you do have this desire to know, then you're in the right place. I'll help you come to know God's will, but you have to desire to know and to do it. Your desire for God's will, it has to keep growing. And here are a few quick tips on that. Try to live a Christian moral life. The most basic way we do God's will is by not sinning. So if you want to know God's will, you've got to fight against sin. Prayer. I'll give you some suggested things to pray about, but you need to spend time with God and listen to his voice at least 30 minutes a day, every day, ideally before the Blessed Sacrament. If it's your desire to know God's will, tell him that in prayer and keep asking. Talk it out. You're not in this alone. Reach out to myself, one of the vocation directors, if you need help finding a spiritual director or discernment group. You might not want to announce it to the whole world, but also don't get stuck inside your own head. Unless you desire God and seek Him, you'll never know your vocation. That is, who God has made you to be. But if you are praying and you're still waiting, check out the next episode about why God is taking so long to tell you. I praise you, God, for I am wonderfully made. Search me, Lord, see me, God, lead me along an ancient path. You have in store for me